people from the north, they really need help up north. Uh, they don't have a lot of, of meetings. Well, they don't really have, I don't know, too many meetings like ours, but they, that is one thing they said, that they are really starving for information and help up north. And so it was good to go there and be able to do that. I understand it was the first show that far north, and um, so we thank them for doing that, uh, Ben and everybody. And we had a great time, met a lot of great people. All of the volunteers that went out. Uh, this is how we worked it because we're volunteer based. We don't have a lot of funds, and um, we said, uh, "Who wants to volunteer?" And the volunteers who went all chipped in a hundred dollars, and we paid for ourselves. So the organization also paid for gas. We paid for the lodging and. Um, that. So uh, we went to just have a really good time. We only ended up working maybe four hours each, and uh, well, Mish worked the whole weekend. I don't think we saw him, but uh, we had a really good time. So everyone was to be able to enjoy the weather too, and the wine. There's lots of wine in Traverse City. So, uh, so with that, let's see the basic information. I'm gonna go come back to that and uh, move ahead to. Nick, because I know that you are, you have some important things that you have to do, not that being here isn't important, but we can bring you up and have you talk um, earlier rather than later. Yeah, right now. I talk to everyone, we, we always go out and we bring everything back that we found out and information, and we talked about Cannabis, I actually brought one of the bottles here, and we talked about it, it was pretty cool that I saw it and what I had heard about it, but I only heard a little bit. I, I don't know a lot about the product, but I hear it's wonderful. It does great things. Juicing, just in itself, says health. I mean, juicing alone. But uh, so Nick is going to talk to you about what they do, and it is Cannablend, correct? Yep. Okay. And uh, this is the gentleman who has the juicing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to talk about something that. Um, a lot of people uh, have never heard of, and the people that like to get high usually squirm about, because uh, this stuff here does not have any psychoactivity at all. That's one of the beautiful things about it. Uh, people that like the cannabis for the psychoactive effect or use it for PTSD or some of the other things get nervous that maybe this would take the place of that. There's no intent for that at all. This is simply... Um, I want it to be thought of as a dietary essential because cannabis in the raw form, and I mean in the raw form, cut it off the plant, throw it into a maceration device which destroys it uh, as far as opens all the cells, and then you consume it raw. There's no THC in that until heated, baked, uh, you know, cooked in some way. So um, most people don't have a concept that actually you can consume cannabis with no high. But everybody in here that is a caregiver or ever consume can or ever has access to cannabis can consume it without the high if they consume it raw, not heated. Um, we've uh, the tough part is anybody can do this. Um, the the uh, present things on the internet and so forth talk about the leaf. Uh, leaf therapy, as, as I'm talking about, um, the raw juice, is also effective, but they have uh, so much more uh, cannabinoids. Cannabinoids are compounds that are used, recognized by our government, to regulate all the regulatory systems in our body and uh, lock into the receptors that mother's milk, by the way, initially builds. Uh, cannabinoids are found in mother's milk. The same compounds that we find in cannabis in abundance are found in mother's milk. And they're known to, like I said, build receptors in the brain and throughout the body to do regulatory functions. Well, we've been pretty much, uh, cannabis has been abolished from our, from our existence completely. We haven't had access to it throughout the world hardly at all since you know, 30s, late 30s. So we don't have any cannabinoids supplementation. We don't have any, after the, after the mother's milk builds these cannabinoid receptors, we don't suckle until we're 60. So we must then cut, supplement these cannabinoids with other things. Cannabis is the only thing that has many, many groups of cannabinoids. There's other plants that just have one or two here and there, 
but on can cannabis is made for us to consume raw because it's the only thing that can supplement and regulate, regulate those systems. This stuff is known, it was recognized by our government in 2011 in a patent to be the best anti-proliferative. Anti-proliferative means anti-cancer. Cells proliferating out of control is called cancer. Our government decided or, or, or recognized this in 2011. In that same patent, they talk about it being an anti-inflammatory like no other, a super anti-inflammatory. As we all know, many conditions that we have are based on inflammation, you know, heart disease, um, you know, anything, back, back, headaches. If we can get the inflammation out, usually the pain goes away. It's also recognized as an anti-spasmatic, anti-spasm. So anybody with any kind of spasmatic disorders, it's going to definitely treat them. With no high, you can consume many more, you can consume 75% more cannabinoids that are available in cannabis before you heat it. If you heat it, there's only 25% of those cannabinoids available for consumption. So we can imagine, you know, I mean, uh, green beans, they taste a lot better once you cook them down or butter them up. But we all know they're not as healthy for us. So we can soup them raw, we snap them off the plant, we eat them, they're just, you know, relishing in abundance of, of good things. So, um, you know, this, I just want everybody to look at it as a vegetable that really should be um, consumed as a vegetable. Um, you know, a lot of people are, are uh, in peril because they can't get their concentrates right now. The, the law has kind of thrown us a curveball. Um, the way I see it is the, the, the court systems just don't simply understand the data. They don't understand the organic chemistry. But until then, we have to deal with that. And one way to deal with that is if you can't have your concentrates or they're not available to you now, is try to do the cons consume the raw cannabis. Because in most cases, it will uh, provide at least the same relief, if not more. Um, I don't know if I covered everything about this, but um, some of the things that it talks about in the uh, patent I didn't talk about was it has uh, helps with cell growth, any type of uh, uh, anti-diabetic. Um, it feeds the mitochondria of every cell, the, the fuel portion of every cell. So if a cell is making blood, if it's making bone, if it's making skin, it's going to perform better because it has the essential nutrients and needed cannabinoids to make that happen. Um, I know it's, I mean, I probably, a lot of people have just never heard of it. I, I hope that, you know, you maybe I would have some questions. It's a, uh, uh, it's kind of a, a shock to you, maybe, to hear you can even consume it without uh, the high. But it's it can be it can be consumed that way um, with no high, and it's just you can just uh, pack and pack and pack the cannabinoids that you could never get if you cook it. Go ahead, sir. So, does it test positive? No, it does not test positive in most drug screenings because what they're what they're trying to screen for in drug tests is THC which is a psychoactive component that our government is, you know, recognizes the um, illegal portion. There's THCA, which is the starting component of THC, but without the heat, there's no THC. So as long as it's not heated, if you take, I mean, if you put it in the back window of your car, there's a possibility there could be a small amount that could be detected, you know what I mean? But if you store it properly, it's got fruit juice and so forth in it. If you store it properly, then there's no psychoactivity. If that is a, if uh, you can also uh, use CBD rich products also, then there's no, there's no possibility of any psychoactivity as well. Not only can you not test for the TC like you're asking, but there's no possibility for any uh, psychoactivity. I see the brows. Do you have another question? Yeah. Uh, I'm considering a, a patient friend of mine who suffered from fibromyalgia. It's excellent for fibromyalgia. Usually there's inflammation that comes with fibromyalgia. And this is just, I, the government, uh, Pat, talks about this in a, in a strong way, that it's just like a super anti-inflammatory. And really, I mean, that is one of the most uh, ailing components of any, any sickness, is the inflammation. Once we get the inflammation out, usually we don't hurt. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, the people whose livelihoods depend on 
passing random drug tests. Oh, absolutely. Yes, and this can be done. If they, if they take the proper care with the material, it's absolutely safe to use that way. There's no THC in cannabis. There's THCA in cannabis, which with heat turns into THC. Go ahead, Aggie. Um, so that's a bottle. Tell us about the bottle and how much you... The, a, a daily dose um, is approximately 600 milligrams of cannabinoid acid. Um, THC acid, CBD acid, we don't really care. Unless, of course, you have a specific neurological disorder, and then we concentrate on the CBDs. But we find that the THC acid works just as well. This here is eight days worth, 16 ounces. It's about $70. It's the equivalent of about nine dried grams, about 45 grams of wet uh, flour, ground up wet flour. Anybody can do this. Uh, you're gonna have a rough time making it taste good is the problem. It's like, it's like licking the bottom of your longboard, you know, I mean, it's, it's really, it really is. Until you get it to flavor well, it's, it's gonna be difficult. But you could go home, you could go buy a Nutribullet. You ever see the commercial with the Nutribullet where they take and they pour it through a screen and everything goes through the screen. Well, the, the object there is to smash open the cells so we don't have to rely on our body to open these cells and without passing it through us. So we take it and use it and like go get a Nutribullet, smash up five grams of raw blood and then take it and mix it with something to make it taste good. Um, we, uh, we know for a fact that if we mix it with something that has fat in it, a yogurt, a, a hemp seed milk or something like that, that it does have faster absorption but it also spoils quicker. That's why there's none of that in our product. But um, if you do it at home or you're making it, you can even mix this stuff with some, uh, something with some fat in it and it will absorb it quicker. Um, what particular strands are you juicing with and are you particular about what you use as far as what strands do you use? We're not, we're absolutely not. We're, we keep track of the absolute, uh, we test for the cannabinoid counts uh, I don't pay any attention to that unless I know that someone has got a neurological disorder that we're trying to, you know, uh, specific seizures really is where, where we find that the CBD is crucial. And only, um, not just seizures, or not just uh, specific seizures, just specific seizures, like Dravet's or something is, is needed, the CBD is needed. We're curing uh, other seizures with the THC acid just as well. I have six children. Adolescent and children right now that we're treating with that. All licensed. Quit. Quit. They're uh, completely shot their seizures. Go ahead. Does it come in different flavors? It does. It comes in mango, orange, and we have uh, uh, like a V8. Uh, it's similar to V8. It's a vegetable for a diabetic, for some people that don't uh, can't handle the sugar. It's about less than two grams of sugar per daily dose. So I, I want to understand what you just said. So Go ahead. You are treating six children with Dravet? Uh, they're, they're different, they're different the, uh, seizure and epileptic conditions. And you're finding that the juice is working for them? The raw juice, we just had a 13 year old, the, the, the mother just come in two days ago to my transfer and told me that they had a 24 hour study on him and uh, he was seizure free completely and he'd been on it for about 30 days. They, they noticed the difference that he wasn't having them, but they just went and documented that with the doctor this last week and got the results. Are they taking any of their other medicine or did they quit? No, them? no, no. Well, and one of the gals that I treat their child, he's, she's never let him take anything else. So she's really struggled along, you know. Yeah. You know, this, this kid is very uh, agitated all the time and harming others and harming himself and so forth. Just a complete turnaround, you yeah. know. There's a, that's what I was talking about, these receptors and so forth in the brain and in the body that the mother's milk produces. Um, something needs to supplement those. And if you don't get supplemented, people that are, are um, sensitive to those kinds of things end up with the seizure disorders and stuff like that. You know? so I believe we're all cannabinoid deficient myself. I mean, if it wasn't in mother's, if, if, if it wasn't in mother's milk, it'd be a little bit easier to convince me, but it's in mother's milk. And, it, and it's, we're know that we know that it builds these receptors. And cannabis locks in these receptors like a glove, like OJ in his glove, you know. Oh, so. You like that, huh, Mike? <laughs> Anything else?
you have to be a patient to use it? You do have to be a patient to consume this stuff right now. Um, that's my dream. I have a couple of breeds, a couple of CBD strains. One that I think for sure is going to come in under the federal level uh, of THC components. So I'm going to let somebody else tell me that it's, I, I'm not legal to do it. I mean, there's so many people that need it. And if we can get it to them, we're going to do our best. I'm going to try to, you know, later on down the road, we're trying to get this medical bill through right now. But a dietary bill is in the future for sure. This is something that everyone should be able to grow in their garden, not blocked up. Not, you know, because it can't get you high, what's, what's the point of locking it up? Um, everybody should be able to consume it on a daily basis. It, it's a dietary essential. I have some cards here with my, uh, my business name on them and links to how to get to me. But most importantly on this card is a couple of scans that will take you to YouTube videos of Dr. Courtney, who is the guy that actually pioneered this thing and, and is still at the cutting edge. He's in California, he's from here, but he's uh, out in California in the Emerald Triangle where, the, where all the hots are, you know. I see it over here. Yeah, I just want to ask, is it available in larger? Uh, it is, larger it is. Volumes? Yes, it is. It's, it's available in gallons. Um, a gallon is, uh, that would be uh, two months dose. After a month, I recommend that you freeze it. You can freeze this. Um, it, it keeps almost indefinitely. I mean, I've had this stuff myself. I've consumed it for two months straight, made the gallons of it, and consumed it for two months straight. The juice is more apt to go bad than anything to do with the cannabis. The cannabis is an excellent antibacterial. Well, I just told my doctor that I wanted to be taking off all my muscle spasms. And I have no desire to have that this is you're going to be packing yourself with 75 percent more cannabinoids than you were doing smoking and actually more than that because smoking is one of the least effective ways to absorb it so i mean you're going to get in a small dose one daily dose you're going to cram yourself with more cannabinoids than you than you've consumed in the last two months. How much is a gallon? A gallon is three hundred dollars. You can consume uh, four ounces a day for one month, or, or uh, two ounces a day for two months. Yeah. You feel like a million bucks. Your spasms will be gone. Go ahead, Katie. Can you buy your blend without the cannabis in it? Uh, you know, I never even thought of that. Why not? I mean, I don't know. It's just a fruit blend at that point. The cannabis definitely is the active ingredient. Right, but if some, you know, you said the flavor, and if someone... Oh, you mean the, the actual raw cannabis? Right, you mean the raw flour without the juice right, and stuff right. in it? I've never no, done no, that. No, no, I mean, like, can you just buy the, the juice without the cannabis? So say somebody didn't want to transact, or, you know, with you because of the cannabis in it. Can they oh, just get the juice? Yeah, get the stuff to make it taste good. And add their own? Yes, you could. Okay. There's some processes that I do in the meantime where you probably still aren't going to duplicate okay. the taste, but I could. I, I could, sure. It's like a base. You know, some people don't. Well, there's mass macerating is where you take and soak it in different things to make it absorb those flavors, and we do that to make it taste good. Well, you know, you, um, any juicing or any type of juicing, they tell you to put it in water so it'll absorb some uh, some liquid, so it juices better. It'll break the cells open better. Uh, we do that with flavored stuff sometimes. We grind up some fruit and macerate it in that, so it'll suck that up. Yeah, you, were, you were saying that you know you could get one of those two by things. That you absolutely you could go right out tonight, go buy yourself a Nutribullet, and, and take you know like five grams of raw bud basically is a daily dose. Five grams of raw bud, and you just take and pulverize that. You're ready to start. So, you're I mean, ready to start. What I was saying, you know, get, get your flavor juice. Yep. Get a bullet. Yep. Put in my five grams. Yep. Spin it out. Yep. And consume it. Absolutely. And you've done all the work for me as far as a medium. Yeah, for the most part. Well, like I said, what you're going to be missing is the maceration process where I suck the, uh, you know, the flavored stuff into the juice to make it taste a little better. That doesn't mean you can't consume it. Don't get me wrong. I mean, you can mix it into a gallon jug, dilute it down where it, where it is taste, uh, taste good. Uh, Kristen Courtney, the doctor's wife, gives it to the children on a regular basis. And that's, she says, that's how I know I have it blended well. I give it to the kids, and if they'll eat it, I, I've done a good job, you know, it tastes good. Yeah, because otherwise, I'm serious, it tastes like uh, a lawnmower. Is there any research being done that with insurance companies that they may in the near future 
all this, you know, this data is going and it's doing good that they would cover someone? You guys are as close right here to getting actual clinical studies as anywhere in the world with these two right here. Um, that's what's needed is the clinical studies. Um, everything really with cannabis all across the board is anecdotal, <coughs> except for the government patents that are taken out with themselves. That's pretty good proof that the stuff does work and it should be researched. But there is very little research. Um, you know, that Dr. Courtney's treating several Gervais cases, probably more than anybody in the country. Um, and he's very adamant about getting his research right and doing the testing so, and I mean, developing so, the so plan. medical insurance companies would cover something. I can cover it when, Lord, I, go off, when I, I go off. I would love that to happen. I would love for that to happen. I don't see that uh, real, real soon, but I mean, we're all striving for that. It should be. Sure. It should be. It's the most one of the most effective medicines that they know. And, with no side effects. This doesn't have a side effect list. This doesn't have a five page brochure with it, like every other capsule or all oh, oh, commercial. Right, right. Uh, we are working with a chemist that helps us with our dosing, um, gives us accurate results on the testing. So, uh, you know, this isn't a regulated product yet, um, but we regulate it and take care with it um, just as if it were under regulation, uh, the scrutiny of regulation. Um, if there's anything you guys need, you, know, you call this number. I'm, I'm, at this, uh, I'm at this number on the back of this card. Uh, all through the week, a few hours on the weekend. Any questions, I'd be happy to, happy to, do, um, happy to answer them. And if anybody shows up at my clinic where this address is with one of these cards or a business card, I'd be happy to give them a free sample as long as they have their legal card. And ID. Um, one thing I didn't talk about is vascular dilation. Do we know what that is? It's where your veins just blow up. This stuff's give you this stuff here will give you vascular dilation almost instantly. So people with any type of heart problems, they immediately notice a difference because they just their their blood flows better almost instantly. Gives you energy. Um, Lord, I, I, I could just go on and on. I could stay here all day and keep thinking of things that are um, that are CAD. Beneficial. What's that? CAD. Coronary artery disease. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Anything with any type of vascular problems, anything like that, it's just going to, you're going to know instantly. I mean, I'm not kidding. Instantly. Within five minutes, you'll notice a difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know. Yeah, as as Has anybody ever done like wheatgrass or anything like that, a uh, smoothie, wheatgrass smoothie or anything like that? You know that good crisp feeling that you get right after you drink it? It's like a, I don't know, just a feel good, crisp, clean feeling. And that's what it'll do for you too. Uh, um, it's just, uh, just starts feeding your body in the right way. It's a dietary essential, it's something that we need. All right. I think I'm done if everybody's, no more questions.